The CBR 600 is as fast as hell! Holy mackerel! Here it is, the 2022 CBR 600 RR. Don't go anywhere, you don't want to miss this. The first thing you'll notice is the display here, and I'm going to point out the, uh, I had some questions on my community page as to what I actually thought about this bike. This is a, a 2022 model. It is used, and it is at Plano Kawasaki. This bike's only got 1,300 miles on it, so it's, <laughs> it's just barely broke in, but uh, we're going to take it for a ride. The first thing I can tell you, make sure I'm getting everything in the viewfinder. The first thing I can tell you is it is not as comfortable as the ZX6R. I had somebody ask when I posted on my community page on YouTube that I was going to film this. And they said, hey, tell me if it's CBR 600 is supposed to be the most comfortable bike. Well, it's not. It's not more comfortable than a ZX6R, the 24 model, I can tell you, because I've rode both of them. And I'm not being partial. I mean, I am a little bit for Kawasaki, but I, I just like the looks of the Kawasaki. Now, this Honda, it's hard to beat a Honda, so I'm not, I'm not going to knock it for sure. But uh, stay with me. I, I researched this, the 600s, and found out something... Uh, found out some stuff on the uh, the new 600 the 24 600 and it is not let's take a right here the 24 600 is not coming to the states it's going to be in the uk but it will not be in the states now i will tell you this bike is extremely smooth no smoother to be honest with you than the ZXXR, but it is smooth and it and it definitely has good tip in and it is sure footed so uh i'm I, I can't really knock it i'm just telling you the differences between the 24 zx6 you're definitely leaning over and i would say even a little bit more than the zxxr the 24 but uh, this is about 119 horsepower and I can't remember the torque I'll put it up on the screen here I'll re-look it up I don't want to lie I want to say it's 55, 60 pounds of torque but you can leave a comment and tell me if I'm wrong if you've rode a new ZXXR and rode one of these 22 CBR 600s Leave a comment what you think. Was it was it more comfortable? The feet are more up. The uh, rear, the foot pegs are more up than the ZX6, and you're leaned, you're cocked a little bit more forward. Now the ZX6R, you can go back and look at that video, and man, it was a stud feeling. Of course, it was a brand new bike. I mean, there is nothing wrong with this bike. It's got 1,300 miles on it, as you can see. And uh, somebody just got tired of it and wanted to trade it in. It's got show of 41 millimeter forks on it. And if I'm not mistaken, let's go ahead and go. We'll, we'll be sitting here forever. If I'm not mistaken, it's 310 millimeter uh, front disc brakes. I'll check these front brakes out. It does not have a quick shifter on it. I'm just rev matching. So the ZX6 instantly has a quick shifter up. And I think it's got a blip shifter down. I'm not for sure on the blip shifter. But I know it has a quick shifter up. But we'll go up here. I forgot to put a plate on the back of this. Oh boy. I always forget that. They always give me a plate and the screws and I set them down in the grass but anyways 41 millimeter forks the uh, rebound compression on here the back's got the same thing with a piggyback uh, it's got a piggyback reservoir and I'm gonna get off up here 
and show you uh show you some more about this bike it is beautiful i mean it's it's united states of america colors which i love but the uh and it i'm checking the brakes the suspension it's pretty seems like it's pretty firm but uh compared to the zx6 the zx6 was really like this too but uh the throttle to be very honest with you feels a little bit lazy compared to the the uh, zx6r nothing wrong with this but i'm just saying the zx6r was super crisp i mean go back and watch that video of mine let's go up here and i'll jump off and let you look at it it is a very very nice bike though i can tell you that the zx6r is all led led headlights led blinkers which i love and the zx6r has the tft screen which i love this is kind of the old style but a lot of people still love them uh, they still love this old style screen matter of fact that's what the gsxrs are kind of based on let's use that front brake oh that front brake's good it's kind of it's kind of grabby and i'm not knocking this bike but i'm just telling you the difference the zx6r the zx6r is i want to say a little bit more predictable braking wise now this is definitely super i mean it's got good tip in it does feel like you're actually sitting up more on the bike not sitting in it so it's kind of a different feel i mean this is a 22 model with 1300 miles on it super nice bike let me get off up here and uh, walk you around it look in that mirror make sure last mirror i adjusted i pushed on it and broke it so <laughs> i'm kind of being careful about mirrors this bike was extremely hard to find a place to to uh mount my 360 camera but let me uh let me show you this bike i'm gonna pull over and get off of it this bike is gorgeous i mean gorgeous kickstand super easy to it leans over kind of far compared to the zx6r but nothing wrong with that new tires on it they did put new tires i don't know why probably just because that's the way they are they want to represent the products they sell with new stuff it's got the takiko front end uh front brakes on it the 300 i think they're 310 millimeter you can leave a uh a comment if it's different got the nissan back uh back brake on it i think those are 200 210 millimeter there's a reservoir for your back brake here's the pipe that it has on it this bike is used it's a yoshimura let me make sure rs5 system and it looks like it's a oh probably a half pipe but it's not real loud i'll rev it up i mean it's very it's something you could drive into your neighborhood and it wouldn't wake the whole neighborhood up but look at this bike man red white and blue red white and blue I'll, I'll let you look at the front end these are halogen lamps but of course make sure i get it in the viewfinder here it's halogen lamps but you could put leds in those halogen spots and you'd never know that it wasn't an original led headlight bike and it looks sweet got a uh, battery back up there where you could plug in a uh can't remember the name of it but oh gosh i got one on my bike it keeps it charged in the winter just drawing a blank but anyways nothing wrong with this bike it has not been over i mean 1300 miles on it got one little peck there look at that huge ram air right there 
but this bike's gorgeous man it shines cbr 600 rr i'm gonna ride it back but make sure you're subscribed i'm gonna start riding some used bikes i ride all the new bikes up here the uh, new models i'll probably have a, a model maybe saturday for another video this week i really appreciate what y'all are doing the channel is growing we're about 10,000 views away from being at a million views man thank y'all so much but ride with me back on this i'll get on it a little bit because it's not absolutely brand new i'm gonna ride this thing back and kind of jump on it a little bit but not much i mean we're not trying to set the world speed record here yeah i can honestly say it does not it's it's like 421 pounds this bike it does not feel like it's got the snap and i know y'all are going to kill me in the comments you honda guys are going to kill me in the comments but it does not feel like it's got the snap that that zx6r does i mean not that it's it's not like two or three seconds behind the zx6r but it does not feel it's snap it's much snap and maybe because i'm not running it hard hard enough it redlines at 15 grand the thing is super steady on its feet though i mean super steady every bit as good as that zx6r it's a 22 model and it is i believe it's 10 8 99 you could call Plano Kawasaki and get, a, get the price for sure. Um, their number is 972-422-4111. Everything works on it. Blinkers, I mean, it's good to go. But, uh, man, I tell you what, it's an awesome bike, no doubt. I mean, I'm... That new style ZX6R is just so killer. Now, if you're a Honda guy, you're not gonna you're not gonna want to take part in this or in the ZX6R. I mean, everybody's brand loyal to a certain degree. But uh, y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. If you've got any ideas on Kawasaki, Suzuki's, or Aprilia's, you want me to ride? Leave a. Uh, leave a comment in this video you might look through my playlist i've done like i don't know 20 or 30 this year or in the last year so there's a good chance that i've already already uh rode something that you want to see the next one that's big on my list is the g the suzuki gt and it's got the electronic suspension on it uh, and then the Ninja 500, the SE, that has the keyless system. They do have a Ninja up there. They've got a bunch of them pre-sold, but they do have a Ninja up there that does not have the keyless. And I may end up riding it also just to get a feel for it and get a video out to tell you what I think. Oh, yeah, it, it goes. It just does not seem like it's got the snap that the uh, the Kawasaki has. But anyways, we're going to jump on the other side of the freeway and head back to Plano Kawasaki. I appreciate y'all riding with me. There'll be two videos uh, pop up here in a second if you want to see them.